This is Math 141, Practice Test 1. And uh, for problem 11, we're supposed to sketch a graph of this uh, rational function. So let me do a little bit of analysis on this. So um, first thing I'm going to look at is the, the horizontal asymptote. And the hor horizontal asymptote, that's the, that's the one that's flat. And where does that happen? And that happens at extreme behavior left, right. So that's when this thing starts to settle down um, going that way. So my, my question is, I'm just going to look at those leading coefficients, y equals 2x over x. Because when x gets really big, those dominate. The 6 and the 3 don't really matter if x is a million. They do a little bit, but they don't. Uh, that's how far away from the asymptote that would be. So notice that 2x over x uh, just settles down to 2. So that tells me that I have a, a horizontal asymptote at, uh, at 2. So let me put some tick marks on here. So right here at 2, I have a horizontal asymptote, so y equals 2. So let me look at my, my vertical asymptote. So my, my vertical asymptote That is a straight up and down asymptote, and that comes from me trying to divide by zero. So I can't, I'm not, I can't divide by zero. So my vertical asymptote happens when this is zero. Notice that it's when uh, x is three. So x is three right here, and uh, I can't plug three into this equation. So I have a vertical asymptote here. Um, I wrote zero, but I meant to write three when x is three. Um, X-intercept. And y-intercepts, those are actually uh, pretty easy to find as well. So if I look for my um, x-intercept, my x-intercept, where it crosses the x-axis, that's when uh, y is 0, when the height is 0. So when will this spit out a 0? And it happens when the numerator is 0, because the denominator can't be 0. So my x-intercept happens when... Um, that equals zero, and notice it's at negative three. So uh, one, two, three is right here. And then uh, my other intercept, my y-intercept, that happens when x is zero. So if I let x be zero, both of those terms drop out, so six divided by negative three is what y becomes, which is negative two which is right here. And then I have uh, the basic shape of my graph. You can shove it into a calculator if I wanted to just test the rest of it, or I could um, plug in other points. But I know that it's going to be nested in here. So here's a sketch of this graph for number 11. <laughs> 